Okay then, let's get to work on this table. And we'll start with the tabletop. This step is just going to be about creating one of the planks that make up the tabletop. It'll be short, but I'm going to introduce you to the bevel tool, which is kind of the focus of this step, really. We need to create our shape, which is going to be a cube again. And I'm going to call this tabletop, like so. And I want to get this into kind of a plank shape. So I'll just do this by eye. So I want the wood to be fairly thin and it's going to need some length in it. Yeah, so I'm kind of happy with that. If you really want to get it exactly the same as mine, you can see my values here in the channel box. So you can copy those if you want. Uh, but I'm going to go with that. I'm fairly happy with it. To make this geometry look a little bit more interesting, what we're going to do is add a bevel to the edges, which kind of smooth them out. The thing about polygon shapes by default is that the edges are unbelievably sharp, which if we were dealing with a wooden table, even if the woodworker tried to get them sharp, there would still be a little bend if you got in close enough. Uh, and we want this to look fairly kind of old and rustic. So we're going to add a bevel. We'll do this first of all, I think from the edit mesh menu. And you can see at the top is bevel. It also tells you that if you want it, you can use control and B to get that command. So if we just give that a click with the shape selected, it's going to do it on every edge and hopefully you can see what effect that has had. It should also open this poly bevel menu here, a little sub menu that will allow you to make changes. And we've also got some further options here in the channel box. Just by clicking and dragging on these words, you can change the properties. So you can change the fraction. So I'm going to just drop this down quite low. 0.2 is quite nice. It's going to be a subtle effect that I'm going for. You can also, if you want to, add more or fewer segments. Often, you will want more segments than just the one. But because this is just aimed at absolute beginners, I'm going to recommend keeping it to one. It will make it easier to UV map this later, which is to do with how we add our textures. So in the interest of keeping this fairly straightforward, I will recommend that you set it to one. If you <laughs> want to give yourself a challenge, by all means, go for two or three. Uh, but my advice, go for one. Okay, we can now just click somewhere else. That'll turn that option off if you want it to. Um, and that is the end of this step. So we've named it. We've sized it roughly how we want it and we've put a bevel on. In the next step, we're going to use Duplicate Special to create multiple copies of this one piece all in one go. So I'll see you in the next step for that. Game Dev Academy is graciously supported by these absolute legends. If you'd like to offer your support, then check out our Patreon page using the link in the description below.